Okay, welcome to another Minecraft adventure. Um, it looks like I don't have any food to heal my heart, so I think what I should start doing is uh, make myself a more renewable source of uh, food. And for some reason, uh, I don't seem to get a lot of animals spawning in this valley here. But I think what I could do is go ahead and, and uh, there's a lamb all the way over there, a sheep. I, I think what I could do is just make this a lot more, uh, more grass and a lot less sand. So I'm going to start working on that. Okay, I'm currently using my fourth shovel here, and it's starting to get dark out. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of leveled the area around here. Um, I guess I'm going to start placing some dirt. Uh, I guess I got some more digging to do. I'll, I'll keep at this for a little while longer here, until I get a more level ground to start building upon. Well, I pretty much worked through the night, <laughs> got the attention of a zombie toward the end there, and he walked all the way up to my front door. Just so happens it's also, uh, just now dawn. So, uh, we'll get to see him burn up, and then we'll, uh, get on with, uh, fixing up the outside of my house. <laughs> it should be plenty bright enough out there to catch him on fire. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is a disadvantage of being in the valley? No direct sunlight? I, I might just have to get rid of him because he's going to waste my whole day away here. I thought it'd be fun to watch him catch on fire, but not if it takes that long. Okay. Yeah, I guess as you can see, I've cleared out quite a big portion here, and I've started to build myself a set of steps down to what will be the new uh, you know, ground floor outside. So, uh, yeah, I, I still got a little bit more work to do on that. Um, so I'll get to that. Okay, something I like to do is um, I make my steps a little bit longer so that I can make these half steps. If you take smooth stone and you lay them three across that way, you can get these little half blocks. Um, and they make it so, like for example, currently on my steps here, you know, if I drop down it's easy, but going back up I have to jump each time to get to the top. So if I put these half blocks um, right here, oh, yeah, I'm totally wrong here. I, I ended up actually making pressure plates, which those can be used to activate things. No, no, no. What I needed to do was may take... Well, I don't have nearly enough stone. Let's see. I need to take cobblestone. Lay that three across. There we go. There's a half block. The rest of the stone. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, the same thing still holds true, but now if I take those half blocks, not pressure plates, and lay those. There we go. There. Now I can just literally walk up. Makes it nicer when I'm running from something. I don't have to worry about timing jumps or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so I got my stairs down. And I think what I'm going to do now is um, extend this dirt out so that uh, we have a nice flat area to work with. Okay, I'm going to work on that now. Okay, I filled in quite a bit of the grass here. Um, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to make myself a garden somewhere over here on this side. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to push in a little further. You can see I've also lined the outside of my area with torches. Uh, it started to get pretty dark. Lots of uh, monsters were spawning in the courtyard. 
I think actually I want to push this out a little bit further uh, still and even clear out this side a little bit more because I think I want to put a garden of some type over on this side so um, I'm gonna keep keep doing that over here okay I've done quite a bit of work here um, it'll be easier to see it during the day but uh, at night you can see I've lined my area with torches um, I flattened it out quite a bit uh, there's a zombie hanging around over there which isn't good uh, because I actually um, I'm planning on putting my garden down here somewhere in the cart yard <clears throat> But what I've done is I also dug in up from the courtyard down here. So if I pop out here, yeah, it's close to that zombie. Um, yeah, so uh, that's something I'm going to have to fix here. I, I just wanted a uh, way out into my garden. I'm planning on building it and then fencing it all off so that um, monsters and animals can't uh, trample my uh, crops. So uh, for now, I think we'll keep it plugged up with some dirt. Like that for now. And um, as soon as it's day, we'll start, <clears throat> we'll start collecting some seeds for the garden. But one thing we are going to need is a, it's a garden tool. Yeah, you can see all the dirt I've still collected. So I'm going to put the dirt away up in here. Okay, as I said, we're going to need a gardening tool. I actually don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's a hoe or a trowel. I think I was about to try to combi combine the two words. <clears throat> so we'll get several of them because I plan to you normally don't need very many of them, but I'm going to try to gather quite a few seeds. So I'll wear them out pretty quick. Uh, yeah, it's starting to turn day. So uh, very simply what we can do is just really any patch of grass. We can try to, uh, I guess, turn into plantable soil. There we go, and there's your seeds. I can plant those and create a garden. Um, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to do this for a while and try to collect myself some more seeds. As you can see, the drop rate on seeds isn't terribly high, so I'll probably go through several of these hoes or garden tools. And um, there we go. Yeah, I'll probably go through several of these and and plow up most of this grass here that you see around. There we go. One more. So I got 23 seeds out of uh, scalping up a lot of this this lawn here. And uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll start our garden with that. You get a lot more seeds dropping from wheat. So I think this is a good way to start. Uh, what I do want to do though, I'm going to need, we'll get a couple buckets. Um, I'm gonna need some water for my garden so for that we're gonna need some buckets made similarly to a bowl except with uh, steel and we're going to need to collect some water <laughs> uh, which I don't remember if there's any water near me A creepy noise for being out on out in the man I didn't realize I'm gonna have to go exploring for some water so I guess I better equip a sword just in case I run into creepers along the way we'll try going over this mountain and see what's up this way cows Actually, cows could be useful, uh, but he's on a cliff wall. Just looks like more mountains. Maybe if I get up high enough, I'll be able to see the water. This is kind of a cool view. There's the courtyard. You can see I pushed the soil 
or the dirt all the way out to here you can even see the grass starting to fill in um, from up here I don't know if I need to I will push it out further but I mean my garden is going to be small to begin with anyway you can see that's where I first mined some coal um, to the first night that's kind of cool uh, not too many things are visible from the outside since I build it into a cliff wall like that but it does look pretty cool uh, just gonna climb up to the top of this hill here Let's see if I can see anything I'm looking for it there's water all the way out there it's plenty early enough in the day that's a pretty good view whoa yeah that would have been a big drop yeah that's a pretty good view right there I think we'll head out this way and uh, try to collect some water This is a really weird beach. It's like a completely gravel beach instead of a sandy beach. It's very pretty around here though. I might have to come back. Alright, so I want to equip my two buckets here and uh, fill them. There we go. Try to make our way back to my home. I know I should have made myself a compass before we we set out. Maybe that's something I'll do once I get back here. Yeah, I think I see the sand. Yeah, and there's my cliff wall. We're making it the right way. Man, these are big drops. Yeah, I climbed my way up here for wood the first time, so that's a good way down. Okay. Alright, so I think what we'll do uh, is create myself a water source here. Um, I know I can make myself an infinite pool, basically. i just make myself a four wide like that. Dump one bucket in this corner. You can see the water flowing. See, water works. Um, there's source blocks, and then they'll flow into empty spaces. So I placed a source block of water here, so it's flowing into these empty spots here. So if I pick that source block back up, all the water will dry up. So I know if I place water in this corner, and then I place another block in this corner, you'll see it goes calm and and. And I, for some reason, because of that, all of these turn into source blocks. So I can take a bucket of water, and you'll see it fill back in. And I can do that endlessly. So now I have as much water, and I can pour it back in, just like that. But the same way, if I put it up on land, um, you'll see I can lay it here. It'll just kind of flow out. Till, and I can't, I can't pick up any of this. I have to pick up source blocks only. There, and it'll all dry back up. So that's that's kind of a way you can make flowing water is to just place source blocks and allow the water to flow. You know, waterfalls would be made the same way. You see it flows off down into this trench that was dug. But anyway, that's enough with that. Uh, what I did, the reason I wanted to do that is because um, when you use the goodness, I can't. There we go. When you use the uh, garden tool to dig up the ground uh, you'll notice all the ground that I've dug up to get seeds from is turning into just plain dirt um, in order for it to stay this uh, gardenable ground you have to have a water source nearby so um, it's turning into night now uh, what I think I'll do is I'll head inside maybe clean up some more of the passage down to uh, the garden from the inside and then um, starting first thing in the the next daylight uh, we'll start building the garden.